Guys, guys, I discovered the identity of the road trip scam. 100% confirmed, guys. I'm not lying to you guys, 100% real. And this is it. Nah, I'm just playing. Hey guys, it's Liar here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over a bunch of new storyline changes as well as some things that have been, you know, added to the game. Going to explain to you guys a few theories I have as well as something that's been uh, brought up and supposedly going to happen soon enough. So uh, let's go on to that first, and that is the Tomato Town Rift, which if you didn't know, uh, today there was a rift added to Tomato Town, where the Tomato Man is supposed to be. And uh, basically it's reverting to how it was when the rifts were coming in. I really don't like going into leaks, but it's also been leaked that uh, a rift is going to open tomorrow at 6pm, similar to how it was in Season 4. Uh, the end of it, when the rifts were coming in, they came at 6pm every time for each rift. And I feel like it's going to be the same thing, and you know we're going to have to wait every day for rift at 6pm, EST. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Just uh, sitting in Fortnite, chilling, playgrounds, just waiting for this. Yeah, we know something's going to happen. Tomato Town, maybe it's going to come back. Maybe the area's going to get destroyed. I personally want it to be destroyed because it's not really that useful. But, you know, maybe a statue of it being built. Uh, but we know that something's going to happen tomorrow there. And uh, we're just going to see what it is. So yeah. We're finally getting some storyline changes. So I'm really excited for it. Uh, the storyline's been dull, as I said in a few other videos. But, you know, it's finally picking up. And hopefully something cool happens out of this. Maybe it's going to be another rocket launch sequence. We don't know yet. Anyway, speaking of a town being destroyed, I'd kind of want Salty to be destroyed. And there's a theory going around that all the those rocks you see around the map, those uh, rift rocks. Is it called rift rocks? I'm not sure. But there's giant rock statues. Uh, and there's rifts around them usually that spawn in. Those rocks are facing towards uh, a certain area near Salty. It's not actually Salty directly, even though people are making theories about it. But it's actually a mountain next to Salty. We know this because there's actually been a challenge for this for last week or this week. I don't know. I haven't really done the challenges. I gotta get on that grind again. But that mountain is where the challenge is. And by the looks of it, it kind of looks kind of strange in my opinion. Maybe there's something under it. Uh, we don't know yet, but it's my opinion. I feel like this is actually going to be used for something because people are making theories about it since the beginning of Season 5. So yeah, that's just my opinion about it. I really didn't really want to make a theory on it, but since it's actually been a challenge, maybe it's going to be used for something, but we don't know yet. And the next thing I want to go over is the Viking ship. Since the beginning of Season 5, I felt like the Viking ship was actually going to be used for something. It was going to be like the rocket or the meteor for Season 3 and 4. But once we got into the season, it was kind of like not used for anything. Now that there's nothing going around really, I honestly feel like this might be used for something. The reason why I'm thinking this again is because I remember in the loading screen for Week 6... There was a rift in the background that was glowing it's coming from this direction. So maybe that's going to be what's going to be used for it. Maybe it's going to teleport into the water, something lead on to a pirate scene. We don't know. But I was really hoping that something would happen with this Viking ship because, you know, it's really, you know, not a, that good of a spot to land. And it feels like kind of like a seasonal spot and I don't want it to stick around because we already have other seasonal spots that are still in the game. Like Lucky Landing. I don't know. I don't know why that's still in the game. It's kind of a useless spot. I don't really know anyone that even lands there. But you know, hopefully you remove that soon. Because Lucky Landing is probably the worst spot in the game in my opinion. I don't like landing there at all. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Another thing that's changing is disappearing cracks in the sky. In the beginning of Season 5, we had those cracks. And uh, they've been adding new areas to the map. But as Season 5 progressed, those cracks were getting smaller. And it's clearly noticeable that they're getting smaller as you can see here. I also don't think there's actual stuff coming out of the sky anymore. I remember in the desert area, there's sand coming out of it. In the snow area, there's snow coming out of it for the Viking map. But I don't think anything's coming out of it anymore. And as you can see, the there's barely noticeable cracks connected to the actual main crack. And the main crack has been shrunk completely. So we can tell that this is disappearing and maybe something's going to happen at the end of Season 5. And, you know, maybe this before it disappears completely, something's going to come out of it or it's going to take in something. This also brings me to a theory for the Drift skin. Because in this week 6 loading screen, again, uh, not only do you see the, the Rift in the background, but you also see his mask lighting up because he's finally fully like upgraded his uh, skin. As the weeks progressed, he was started at the basic skin for Drift and he's finally progressed on and on. And he's at the last stage. So maybe this is relating to the storyline. Maybe he's going to be teleported back to the real life. We don't know. But I found it really interesting how the drift skin progresses as the rift skin gets smaller. So I thought that was really interesting. Maybe he's going to be used in the storyline somehow. We still have time to see what happens with the road trip skins coming in less than a week. We have to see what that is. Maybe that's what's going to come out of the sky when the cracks are finally shrinken and they're gone completely. At the last second, road trip skin is going to come in. And this road trip skin could be anything. Because we have no idea what's going on in the storyline so far. It's related to worlds colliding and, you know, all these different dimensions. We honestly don't know what to expect. Even with the lack of storyline in Season 5 so far, there's still a ton of theories that it can happen. Because there's just nothing that's actually been explained properly yet. 
So there's just so much they can do with it. But that's just my opinion. I would go over map changes in this video, but it's not a lot to go over in my opinion. The only map changes we had was the bunch of trucks next to Dusty. Maybe the factory's coming back. Maybe any Dusty is going to be repaired. Nothing that's been changed for that. At least not that I know of. And then there's the Tilted Building, which the Tilted Building hasn't been changed at all. And it's still the same as last time I made a video on it. So uh, there's nothing else we can, you know, make theories on for map changes. Maybe you have to wait for the actual road trip skin. Then they're going to start working on the map changes part. But, you know, we are, we can expect uh, a rift to come in tomorrow or, like, rifts coming in. Because there's already been one rift that's spawned in a tomato. We just have to wait and see what it will do and if there's going to be others. You guys should look forward for a video on that tomorrow because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going over that rift as well as the next rift that could spawn in. Potentially, we don't know yet. But I'm going to be looking over for map changes, so stay tuned. And the last thing I want to mention for this video is a Save the World storyline coming in in upcoming seasons. Uh, the reason why I say upcoming seasons is because, you know, it's been leading on to this moment. We've seen a bunch of Save the World teases for, like, you know, all the seasons. In Season 4, we have those trucks with the skeleton on it. And in Season 5, there's a bunch more of them. So maybe there's going to be more and more added in for next seasons. And finally, it's going to be added as actual theme. There's also the posters in the disco room in the factory area next to Flush Factory. So those could be actual teasing something. And the fact that there's been a Leviathan skin monster that's been teased. And everyone's making leaks on it in theories. That still has yet to happen. And I really didn't think it would happen. But now with all these, like, you know, teases to save the world storyline, maybe it could happen eventually. Maybe that's when they're going to make Save the World free and they're not mentioning it. Because, you know, they said they were going to make Save the World free in 2018. 2018 is almost over. At least there's like four months left. So, you know, we're still waiting for that. Maybe they just forgot about it and changed their mind. But hopefully not because, you know, that's going to suck. And there's also the bunker, which hasn't been opened yet, and there's nothing changed to it, so I don't feel like they're going to do anything with that just yet. Maybe it's going to be season 6 that's going to open in the middle of there, and it's going to be like a huge storyline theory. We don't know what the actual theme for it could be, but it could be related to actual, like, Save the World storyline. Maybe it's connected or something. We don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think about the new Rift of Tomato Town? Uh, what do you guys think about the storyline theories that I've come up with for upcoming seasons, as well as this season? Anyway, that's the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.